made a vow I would not make any more videos on him. But then I thought to myself, when I made that vow, I made the vow that I would not carry on the feud with him. However, I can do something that human beings can not do for each other. I can give Richard Coughlin a second chance. That's right, my friends. I can give him a second chance. You see, after the fall of atheism last week, there are so many of you who lost everything. They lost their homes, they lost their family, they lost their belongings, and are wandering around aimlessly like lost sheep. They don't know what to do. Their worlds, their lives have crumbled. My friends, I will be your shepherd, and I will guide the flock of sheep to the correct herd. Coughlin, I am asking you, I am imploring you, allow me to be the one, allow me to be your saviour. I am here for you, my friends, and I have decided to rethink things. Coughlin, you are welcome in my ministry. How would you like to join my ministry as a high minister? My friend, you will be most welcome. We've been through highs and lows, but above all, we have respect for you, my friend. My friend, take your time making this decision. It's completely fine with us, but we want you to know that we pour out nothing but peace and unconditional love and have nothing but the utmost respect for you, my friend. My friend, do the right thing. Join us. Join us today and make this world a better place for mankind. Hallelujah. That was, and I don't use terms like this very often, the biggest ball of raging faggotry I have ever heard. Elliot, it's too late. Elliot, two words for you. Fuck you. And your number has been given to the authorities. too late.